Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, I figured since we've been using so much of the lockable hatch door that we'd go ahead and make a tutorial on it so you guys could understand more about connecting these nodes up. So let's not waste any more time, let's go ahead and run through the door and let's get started. Alright, we are in the workbench here. Let's go ahead and let's get ourselves, uh, we can do symmetry mode for a little bit here. Let's get ourselves a nice little platform to work off of. There we go. Uh, and we're going to need a door. We're going to need a couple doors here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab our hinge door dock. Is that what it's called? Hinge, hinge dock door. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one you grab. You can grab the, uh, the small one or the large one. They both have the same connections. We're going to use the large one for this tutorial today. Uh, and we're just going to set that right there like so. And we've now got our first door. Uh, perfect. We can build ourselves a nice little wall here. Uh, are we going to have to jump up that? We might need to move this down by one. Just for the sake of uh, walking through this a little easier. We can do that there. All right. That's all nice and done. Uh, so for the other half of this, we are going to need another door. Uh, so we're going to need to do this on the other side. Uh, let's see. So we'll go ahead and build ourselves a nice little wall here. We're going to separate this wall from the other wall because these doors don't work unless they are separate bodies. Uh, so we can grab this, grab that, all of that. Is that is that right? I think that is all of it. Yes. OK, cut, paste. There we go. Uh, now we can just get rid of this little section here. Grab ourselves a door. See if we can get it to line up in here. And that's going to be a no. So we're just going to do it like we did the last one. We'll just paste it. We'll cut this again. Slide it down into place. There we go. Paste that. We're going to merge. Nope, I don't want to merge that. I want to merge blue with green. There we go. And now we can just put ourselves a nice little wall here. Separate these two. And now as they're separate bodies, these would be, say, your spaceship, your space shuttle, or your ship docking th to another ship, things like that. Uh, this is how you would do that. Uh, so they're separate bodies. Uh, from there, we can go ahead and we can grab some toggle buttons. And for the sake of this, uh, I can't do any mirror moding. Uh, so we'll just do one there. Uh, we'll need a couple of these actually. So we'll do one there, one there, one there, one there. Let's grab a light. This will help you understand what's going on here. We'll do that. Okay, let's go ahead and label these. We're gonna label this one mag. We're also gonna label this one mag. And these are just like mag -alls. You gotta turn them on and off. Uh, let's see, door and door. And that should be good there. So yeah, you have to have the door turned on as a mag all for it to connect to the other door. You can still use the door without it, but if you want to connect one door to the other, that's how you go about doing this. All right, so there's a lot of nodes here. Uh, so let's, uh, let's be careful while we hook these up. Uh, you can see they are separated here. Uh, let's delete one of these doors just so we can go over and talk about what these nodes are real quick, and then we'll put the door back. Uh, so you got several nodes here, uh, starting with a number received and a number sent. Uh, you can send numbers through the doors, which is really nice. Uh, say you wanted to, say for the space we've got upcoming, you want to read the pressure on one side because it might be uneven from your side. You don't want to get sucked through the hatch. You want to make sure that the pressure is level before you open this door. And you can make all kinds of complex microcontrollers to be able to read that and let you decide whether you want to open the door or not. We're not going to go into making a huge microcontroller. We're just going to show you the aspects of how to open each other door and make it actually connect together. Uh, but that's one thing that's really cool with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pass codes to be able to open the door, sending pressure. Uh, say I dock my ship to a space station. It could read numbers off of my ship and display it on a monitor telling everyone that I am this ship and I'm docked at this station number. There, the, it, there's a lot that you can do with this. Uh, so moving on, we've got an on-off received and an on-off sent. You can actually send an on-off and receive an on-off signal through the door from another door, which is really cool. And we'll show you what to do with that here in a little bit. Uh, we've also got the magnet toggle, the door open closed, and the connected. Uh, so quite a few little nodes there. Let's go ahead and get our other door back. All right, now that we got our doors back, this is going to be a little complicated. We'll make sure we don't mess things up. So let's go ahead and start with our mags. We can do that. Magnet toggle, magnet toggle. Then we'll go to our doors. That will be open and close and open and close. Okay, from there... I was trying to figure out why the number of things were up there, but the doors are the same way. It's because they're flipped. Uh, so we still got to be careful here, make sure we get the right nodes connected from the right door. Uh, so let's get the connected signal and we'll take that to the light switch. We'll come on the other side here. We want to find the connected and we want to go to the light switch there. Uh, so all we have left now is actually hook up our sent and receive signals. So now that our doors are hooked up, we can mag all, we can open these doors, no problem. 
But if we're on one side and we try to open the other door, we can't open that door. So that's where the sent and receive comes in. So from the on off sent, we want to go to the on off sent to our door. And then from the on off received, we want to go to the front of our door button. And we want to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to go from on off received is going to go to the front of our button. And then our door is going to go, where is that? Hang on, that's connected. And there we go, to our on off sent to our other door. So the only thing we don't have connected is our numbers and that's fine, but we can actually test this out and figure out what's going on here. Uh, so let's spawn this in. All right, as you can see, the doors are wide open. Do we not have power? We don't have power on this. Okay, so let's get some power. All right, so now you can see the door opens. I can't not get through the other side. Uh, and these are not connected. Let's see if I can move these around. Yep, they are not connected. Uh, so let's turn the mags on. Now shut the door, I'll shut the door. We'll turn the mags on. You can see the lights aren't lit up because they are not connected. You can see in here that they are lit up. The one is lit up. It's ready to go. We can mag this one. That's ready to go. And now these are ready to be connected together. Now, the thing is with mag doors is they are super, super sensitive. It takes, you have to be just right to get these things to connect up. And as you see, we're not even connected here. And we're barely, barely touching. Uh, if this was Magals or the electric connector, there they go. They already would have been connected. But so now we're connected up. The lights have indicated that we are lit up. Uh, we can come over here and we can open the door. And because we've opened this door and we are connected, it's sending signals through and it is opening the door on the other side, which is very convenient. Very convenient. Uh, now, when we talk about going into space, if this was a spaceship that we were in and we say disconnected from this, uh, it would shut the doors. But there would still be a delay there. There'd still be some time where air and pressure could be sent out. So here's where you'd want to come in and make this maybe an airlock. Uh, you could come in, you could separate this room here with another room like so, and then another door. And then you just put another door here. And then now you've got an airlock between the two rooms. Uh, so now whatever gets sucked out of this room doesn't get sucked out of your spaceship, space shuttle, plane, whatever you have connected here. Uh, so that's really, really useful stuff there. Now, all of this is possible with the small hatch door as well. All the connections are exactly the same, which makes it really nice. Uh, now, we do have composite here on the door as well, which you can send uh, data through and out as well, which is really cool. Uh, so you just connect these guys up to whatever you need. They'll send data through and you can uh, you can read info from one side to the other. Super cool. Lots of information you can pull through on the door. All right. So let's do this. Let's take a uh, let's go one step further further. We'll get a we'll get a keypad here just so you guys can see what's going on with these numbers here. We'll slap a keypad down. I know it's crooked. It doesn't matter. We'll get a dial. You know, what? we'll get a display here. We'll do like so and we'll do like so. And from here, we can go to our numbers uh, from our keypad. We can say we'll go to here from that keypad. We'll go to this one. We'll take our number received off the doors. And there you go. So now we, we're back in. There is no numbers. Uh, we can say put in a number here. There is our passcode to get through the door. And yeah, we'd have to come over on the other side. So first of all, let's turn our magals on. Let's turn our door on. Okay, you can see the door opens. And that's another thing you'd want to do is if you were in space, you wouldn't want to be able to open the door unless it's, say, connected to something. So there's going to be some tons of cool door microcontrollers coming out soon, which will be really neat. I'd be curious to see what a lot of those do. Uh, see, there we go. Now we're connected up and the number is upside down but we are getting the uh the number through the door here uh and we can send another one through the other side one two three four five we'll send it we can go through our door and because of the decimal we're not we're not getting it but we do have one two three four five there on our display uh so yeah lots of cool stuff you can do with this door uh i've been uh really excited to use this door this door has kind of given me a lot of cool uh features i love the sounds that it makes it's very uh it's very spacey that futuristic sound that we need for our for our spaceships so again there is a lot that you can do with this door that i haven't shown you here today i just wanted to show you the basics of this door and show you how it works and how to connect things up uh i was a little confused at first when i started looking at it but once i hooked everything up it was pretty simple pretty easy to follow and yeah i'm pretty curious to see what you guys come up with as far as like some screens and stuff to be able to open these doors read pressure o2 nitrogen carbon dioxide all that stuff on the other side and uh, some really cool microcontrollers are going to come out soon. I have a feeling. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you throw a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll try to keep them coming. We'll see you in the next one.